Hey, this is Firestarter. Welcome back to Let's Play Distant World Shadows. It's been a couple days since I played this, so I don't remember exactly what's going on here. I think I had a war. And looks like I actually uh, have peace with them now. I was at war with these guys. Right. I decided to go with peace because they took out my infrastructure. Uh, they took out most of my uh, castle on mining operations, so I was kind of stuck. I couldn't refuel any of my ships. So that's the first order of business. It's making sure that uh, we have fueling operations going. Now my troop transports are under attack. They don't have a way to defend themselves. So I'm going to tell them to come over here move to an axle system. Just out of curiosity, what are the pirate factions that are attacking me right now? Dread Gang. I remember these guys being up here somewhere. In fact, I think I might be attacking them now. Yes, I am. I'm going to take a look at my construction ships. I only have four. They're all building mining stations. There's one thing I do want to check though. Uh, my construction ships. Okay, they look pretty good. Tons of cargo capacity. Okay. Tons of fuel, so they're good. I might actually build a couple more. I'm noticing my cash flow is minus 92,000 right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my empire summary. Yeah, check out my troop maintenance here. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these troops. I don't need them now that I'm at war. I'm gonna sort them by location here. Wow, this planet has a ton of them, so I'm going to get rid of uh, the non-experienced ones. I don't have any non-experienced ones, so I'm just going to go and get rid of the ones that aren't um, in garrison right now. I believe this is the colony I've been pulling my uh, troops out to go ahead and take other colonies. So I'm gonna get rid of a ton of them. I went from like 133 something thousand maintenance to 120. It's not enough though. I have some guys in uh garrison right now, so I can get rid of most of uh, everyone else. 115k maintenance now. Let me go ahead and remove some of these. Scat. Planetary Defenders. I'm actually going to tell my Planetary Defenders to go ahead and garrison. Now these Planetary Defenders, I believe they're the ones that can shoot down uh, uh, troops while they're trying to land, which is pretty cool. That is something new with the expansion, I believe. 100k troop costs. Now I don't want to remove all of my troops here because, uh, well these are battle bots anyway. They're more suited for uh, attacking. But what's cool about these, where are they at? I have battle bots in garrison, that's not good. Anyway, what's good about the defenders, uh, they offer a defensive bonus to the people uh, that are defending. What 
else do I have here? Ninety-three annual true cost. I'm gonna pause this and see where that takes us now. Minus fifty-two thousand. What else can I do here? Spending a lot of money in carriers, but I don't really want to get rid of them. I could go ahead and try to build more resort bases. Here's one that's in one of my systems. What I'm going to do right now is build another uh, construction ship. I'm down to two spaceports. Where's my construction ship? Right, this can only be built on planets. Purchase one, two of them there. Alright. I'm gonna go watch this fight over here. Alright. If they don't have any other pirate bases around, these guys shouldn't pose a threat to me anymore. That was attack 4, we have enough fuel to go do another mission. Let's go ahead and target these guys, we're right there. Any other pirates near me? Iron Fang Industries. Let's see if I can spot their icon somewhere on the map here. That might be it. That's it. Let's go ahead and attack him now. I need to get some defenses up as well. Check out my defensive fleets. <laughs> They've been demolished pretty much. How many ships do I have in reserve? Should be a lot. Let's go ahead and sort them by fleet. I don't really have any reserve ships here. Man, how many colonies do I have? 20 colonies. For the most part, they're pretty happy. I'm gonna see about taxing these guys. A 0% tax. Yeah, I bet you guys are happy. What does that take you guys to? Plus 22. That looks good. I generally like to keep them plus 14, plus 15 um, on satisfaction here. There we go. It's too bad that this thing doesn't update while I'm uh, adjusting the attacks percentage here. There's a lot of clicking around up here. Most generally for every 1% tax, the satisfaction goes down by 1, but sometimes uh, you can you can up, push it up or down 
two percent for uh, one satisfaction. Plus twenty-eight. Yeah, I bet you guys are happy. One and a half billion population. <laughs> you guys aren't being taxed. Zero percent tax. Plus thirty three. And most generally, whenever my population on a colony reaches a billion plus, that's when I start taxing them pretty heavily. I'm gonna go ahead and start taxing the hell out of these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and lower you guys. I'm gonna push this to 10%, probably not any more than that because... Actually, let's just take it down to 5%. We don't even have 500 million people there yet. have just acquired these two two or three colonies here. Um, I'm not too worried about uh, my private sector having cash because if you look here they have almost what is that that's a lot of money here more than the cash on hand that I have almost seven million so yeah we're looking good. I'm going to start building up my uh, defenses here, so... I mean, let me look at my destroyers. I'm pretty sure I upgraded these designs uh, in my last playthrough. I have 100 firepower, 1000 shields. I might, re I might start researching some different technologies too, some different kind of weapons. I forget what exactly weapons they are, but they actually go, uh, most of the damage goes through the shields. It's not ion weapons. I absolutely hate area weapons. I don't know if they've changed that, I remember playing with area weapons uh, back in Legends, and I would put area weapons on my bases, and the area weapons would actually hurt my own ships, so I tend to not even play with area weapons. Rail guns. I'm pretty sure it's the rail guns that goes uh, through the shields. Yeah, rail guns have a unique ability to partially bypass shields, directly damaging a sh uh, shielded target. However, rail guns are also 50% less effective against armor. I like to uh, board an enemy ship and take it over and check out their designs, uh, see exactly how much armor they have. I suspect that there's not like tons of armor on enemy ships. I remember doing the math a long time ago and it seemed like uh, it was cheaper to have heavily shielded ships rather than heavily armored ships. So that's why you'll generally see me only put up. 300, 400 armor maybe per ship. And plus, uh, let me go my designs here and just edit one of these guys. Um, let's check out enhanced armor. They take carbon fiber and steel, and those are critical resources. And when you look at the shields, let's take a look at these Krypton, gold, and lead. The resources required to build enhanced armor cost more than the resources uh, needed to build armor. Or most generally they're that way. I can take a look at carbon fiber right now. 
You can do that by looking at the expansion planner. Um, let's find carbon fiber on this list. Yeah, take a look at the price. It's almost, yeah, it's not 0.9. And when you look at steel, that should be like 0.3 or something. Point eight. Actually, that's quite expensive right now, too. I must not have enough steel to go around and weigh fire. Alright, let's check out this uh, fight here. Start uh, researching this line of the tech here for railguns, and I rarely put railguns on my ships, but I'm gonna play around with them in this game. So I already have heavy railguns, 11 damage, range 200. I think I like the long-range uh, heavy railgun here. So I might design some ships sooner or later uh, to include these heavy railguns. I might as well since I'm putting the, the research into it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of these up. When those are done, I want to continue working on my fighters and bombers for my carriers because that's my um, my fleet compositions are from this point forward I think going to consist mostly of carriers so I'm definitely going to uh, work on this tree here and I know eventually I'm going to need see I do have improved missiles I'm going to yeah I'm looking pretty good I do need to come down here and grab this tech to get uh, strike bombers, but that's quite a ways down. So I'm working on advanced command, which is pretty sweet, made of savings 10%. Who do I have queued up here? Ship scanning, advanced scanners. Go ahead and grab fleet countermeasures. Just to speed things up, I might go ahead and start trading techs. We don't have a good reputation with these guys anymore. I mean, plus he's decent, but I can't see their techs at this point. But I do have a mutual defense pact with these guys going, so we should be able to trade techs. Purvis Recreation Center will be nice because I do plan on building more resort bases. You know what, I might just go ahead and try to grab all of these. That's 2.2 million. What am I willing to give up in return? These guys don't have damage control. This is a low tier technology, I'm going to let them have that. Tractor beams, accelerated projectiles. <laughs> Improvements to Shatter Force Laser, it's a 2.4. Let's see if I can milk you guys with the cash here. Really? I mean, I don't, I don't really need any of these technologies, dude. Interesting. I'm giving these guys tons of upgrades. Let me go talk to my other guys. I have a defensive pact with. And 
what am I willing to give you? How much cash do you have on hand? Give him better shields. I don't want to do this, but... Fast mining. Let's get rid of the shield improvements. Give him improved uh, proton thrusters. Okay, so I picked up like, I don't know, 300k, I think? Plus trade us some tanks. Yeah. Not only that, my cash flow is in the positive right now, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll agree to any uh, trade agreement, and we'll take your cash. Long range missiles. For 3 million. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna pass on that. Alright, that's attack four. Let's go ahead and take care of all their stuff here. Some of these ships are heavily damaged, but I don't mind losing a few of these. Pirate faction joins your empire. The Iron Fang Industries have seen our growing strength and I have thus decided to give up piracy and join our navy. So right off the bat here, I'm going to pause this, and when you acquire ships, even though you have, um, if you go into Empire settings and you have newly built ships are automated checked off, the newly acquired ships will actually start off automated. So I'm going to take a look in here, and yes, yeah, you have all these escorts. Yeah, I'm going to retire the escorts. And they might have some uh, construction ships as well, no? Looks like I have some freighters being built now. Yeah. And mining ships and so forth. Abandoned construction ship. Let me go find this ship. Wow. Okay, this is one of the construction ships I just acquired. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you to retrofit. Take off automation. Same thing here. I picked up a couple mining stations as well. I have to sort through all this just to find uh, which one I just acquired. Help. This looks like one of them. This is just right outside these guys' sphere of influence. Who are these guys? They're Ricto. I'm gonna talk to them real quick. I might be able to sell off this mining station. No, it's not in their influence. I have attack three down here. What are you guys working on? Let's go ahead and take care of these pirates. Dread gang. So they had two bases. Interesting. Take a look at a. Check that out. Number one in victory conditions right now. 
I generate 8% of the galaxy total uh, GDP population. I control 9% of the galaxy uh, territory. I have 7%. And for race victory conditions, I need to build more resort bases. So I will go ahead and work on that. In fact, yeah, I'm going to wait till my uh, construction ships get done building. And what is the strike force doing up here? Who owns uh, Vlad Any? Okay, they're fine. It's time to start. What do we have here? We've uncovered a covert arrangement of, say, Clada Utopia. They used to hold the number one ranking. So what are they doing? They made a secret deal with pirate faction, the hidden sun transport to attack ships and bases of the Black Rock Consortium. What is my relationship with them? Plus two. You know what? I'm gonna warn. Uh, I'm gonna warn these guys. That's gonna take down my rep. And with those guys, but I see them as kind of a threat, especially if they're still up there. Yeah, they're number two in victory conditions. So I, I would definitely warn the other pirate faction. I uh, wish I can see uh, more of this. Let's take a look at military strength. Wow. The Dervala, or Dervalia, I can't really read that, but uh, those were the guys I was just in war with, and they have by far stronger military when compared to mine. They also have the top colony. As for strategic value, I'm number one, economy number two. Holy shit, who are these guys? They started with an M. That's them right here. We love tinkering with new technology. Perhaps you've heard others say that we are greedy and dishonest, but don't believe those lies. We just uh, like to make sure we get a good deal. How about a free trade agreement? How much cash exactly do you have? 400,000. Well, I'm really, I'm looking good with money right now. I don't know why I keep trying to get more. Anyway, back to what I was going to do. Um, set up my defenses. I'm going to build some cruisers for that. I don't want to initiate trade sanctions against those guys. They're they're rich and uh, they could help me out. But they would give me annihilating bombardment, advanced fusion physics. Um, oh, gotta wait for the save. Jump. 
I don't think I'm gonna take this. I want to work on relationship with those guys. In fact, I'm gonna send a uh, an ambassador over there. Their capital is Baru. This guy doesn't look like a good ambassador at all. Neither of these guys. Attacking the pirates, put the pressure on them so I don't have to deal with them anymore. I think you guys are in the middle of a battle. Any pirates nearby? These guys. messages for the construction stalled or whatever because that stuff will take care of itself within a minute. Wow, freighters are... I'm having a ton of freighters being built. setting up my defenses now. My escorts are still retiring. since that defense fleet no longer exists. Select fleet. Uh, let me see here. We'll send you over here. Fleets after I set these guys up. And right here, if I send you here and do nearby systems, that should cover both of these colonies. We'll see. destroyers to this group and actually it takes care of this system here too. I need one up here for sure. Yeah. I have two fleets called Defense 3. Let me go ahead and name you Defense 4. I make sure I change the names on these things because when I, I use the UI list here on the left side, 
quite a bit, and if I don't know what exactly these fleets do, I'm gonna be in trouble. someone over here. And I know that takes a lot of time, but when you play these type of games, you, you kind of do spend a lot of time doing doing this. If you're micromanaging, hell, or not micromanaging, you can just build the ships and they do their own thing and defend planets on their own, but you kind of have fun doing all this. I know micromanaging everything's not everyone's, uh, style of play. Alright. I gotta work on these systems down here. Defense 7. Check that out. I don't like what's going on here at all. I might target these guys next. Or keep pressing on Dervalia when I get my uh, mining operations going again. If I keep pressing on them, I will eventually uh, take care of their military and. Uh, they should drop down on this list big time. I mean, they do have a good uh, firepower rating here. Anyway, back to this. Alright, what fleet is that? I can see this little bubble here. There's somebody defending that area. right here I'm gonna go ahead and well I do have two more attacking fleets these guys are decimated these guys are repairing I'm just going to go ahead and tell you to attack these guys right now. I need a defense 9. I'll probably set you right here. That'll cover both colonies. set their parameters, I'm going to set these fleets on auto. Alright, unpause. 
house. Advanced command. All right, that's my maintenance savings. Awesome. My construction ships should be completed. Yeah. So let me target the resort locations. Go ahead and queue them up. Two resort bases. Three. Those are all of my systems, so that's awesome. Also, I'm going to turn this off. Fleet postures. Checking to see who all have defensive bases. I'll know because they have long range scanners on them, and I'll see these little bubbles around them. I know that these defensive bases probably cost a lot. 6,000 credits, so they probably cost a little bit over 1,200 in maintenance, but it's worth it to me. I think I put a pretty good firepower on them. Stake bases, defense base. 310 firepower, 2100 shields. Yeah. Also, I should think about putting a uh, spaceport down here somewhere. These guys aren't defended. Or are they? Yes, they are. There's my attack one fleet, they're going after these pirates right now. So these guys are really working with the pirates big time. This is the same uh, arrangement. You can warn them about it. And warn the other pirates, I don't even know why I'm doing that. No, I'll pass on that. Thank you. This hyperdrive. I'm already using these hyperdrives, and that's going to improve the speed on them. Jump efficiency. Which hyperdrives am I using? The best way to do that is just look at my designs. Destroyer. Equinox. Oh, I chose those because they have major speed increase. Okay. So I'm actually not interested in either one of those. Long range jump blocking. Might be awesome, 1400 range. I'm gonna pass. 
I'm gonna start building those destroyers now. Right, these are freighters and mining ships and all that. Yeah, about here. We can build them here. Twelve of them to start. Sweet. After destroying Pirate Base, we uh, looted 6,300 credits. You guys are responsible for that. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. What's my reputation now? Heroic. And you guys. Prefer to go after pirate threats down here. In fact, I'm gonna take care of uh, these guys. Attack one. I should be able to take care of them right now. Pirates actually have control of this planet. It's just flat out their planet. 76% quality. Where exactly is this? What is this resource? My gallows nut. What is that worth? I have a good stock of them already. What other resource are we looking at? Laura's fruit. That's an extremely rare resource. Worth a hundred. Well, this is my next target. I do have troops on one of these ships here. Right here. We're going to go ahead and take this planet now. That was an awesome find. Should improve my cash flow a lot. Thank you. Free trade agreement. Hell yeah. And we actually colonized this planet here. Okay. Let's go ahead and build that defensive base. Ninety-three percent quality. Oh, this is a nice planet. Take a look at my colonists. Make sure they're still happy. Story is being spitting out right now. Uh, just going to include some of these in my defensive fleets. Cash flow minus a thousand now. defensive one. I can't believe I lost a carrier.
Yeah, those pirates are pretty annoying. I might actually get rid of them completely on my next playthrough just because it, it makes the game too easy. Um, when I start building planetary bombers and start bombing all the civilians here, I could just go ahead and destroy a couple pirates and get a good reputation out of that. I, weren't these the guys I was at war with? Now they're sending me gifts. Interesting. So it looks like they're really not a threat to me anymore. Just these guys down here, this Keskudon Coalition. Let me check out my uh, troop ship here. Can't wait to take over this planet. And I think I will trade this resource with uh, the people I have a mutual defense pact with. Thank you. I just gotta do this before the people decide to come and take this over. They don't have enough troops to hold me off. Alright, here come my troop, uh, troop transports. And yeah, this is automatic to take. <laughs> Can't even talk right now. Yeah, I'm going to end this uh, session here shortly, but I want some feedback from you guys. Um, specifically with the time, uh, I generally end these videos at around the 50 minute mark, but if these are too long, uh, just let me know and I can reduce the time I'm recording uh, these sessions. Yeah, and any other feedback, just go ahead and let me know and um, I'll try to work with everything. Cool. I have this super awesome resource now. I'm gonna go in here diplomacy and check you guys. We are going to trade our Loros fruit with them. And who are the super rich people? I won't trade with them yet, however I will trade with my other guys here. Alright, so that's the end of the session. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care.